There's another huge war up in the north. For Sir Vardis's claim on the veil, which is... I imagine one of the Arons. Yeah, this guy, I think. The air is kind of shit, but... And is, like, exiled over in the middle of nowhere. But, uh... Harrenhal's joined them. If you remember, we gave Harrenhal to these guys. Quite some time ago. Uh, their line has not done well. <laughs> not done well at all. The Harrenhal curse has really beaten the living shit out of these get gentlemen. You go to history for a second. We gave them to this guy to begin with. And every single one of his kids ended up dead from varying things. Poor health, infected wounds, sickly infants. And he inherited. All his kids have died. <laughs> and his kid inherited. All his kids died. A period of illness, period of illness, period of illness. Poor health, poor health. Natural death, natural death. And now it's eventually gone to him. And basically all of his kids are dead. If he dies now, that will fall into the hands of the River Lords and make them even more powerful. But uh, he is winning against the Tully forces. But Harrenhal's the backbone of this army, basically. And not to mention they have the Starks coming down to help. I say the Starks, the Northerners. But they might be able to do something. Seaguard's also with them. I can't, I'm kind of hopeful. Because, uh, like I said... We don't really want a united front of Tully power. Yeah. Lost one of our Kingsguard members. He was old. Bring with me the greatest knights in the realm. Ooh, you're nice. There you go. The Veilman as well. From a minorish family, but still pretty badass. Welcome to the King's Guard, lad. It is for some reason zero percent. <laughs> That wall there might decide things. And if they attack them there... That depends. They're going to get there on the 19th. They're going to get there on... Yeah, okay. They're going to lose. Maybe, anyway. Depends on the commanders, but obviously I can't see that. Doesn't seem anything great. I think they've won. That they have. Now all those 7T guys need to do is get the hell out there and help. If those 8K go down, they've lost that battle there. Unless those 7K forces can show up. And it appears the Twins is doing something. I'm not sure what the Twins is doing. Now they have won. They have actually won there. Now they got 15,000 and another 10k there. The Northmen are coming down though with only 15,000. So they might actually win this and put the Arons back in power. It's Seaguard beating the crap out of them. What happened here? This Baratheon bitch is pressing her claim on... Prick. Huh. He died under suspicious circumstances. It seems if they couldn't take out him by force, they were going to take him out by the shadows. Interesting. They've now put the lunatic child on the throne. That'll go well. Let's give it to... Who's that... Um, yeah, 
I'm sure it will give given to someone. We'll, we'll see who the AI gives it to. Defending against that bitch in her claim to the thing. And she's down here at Storm's End with uh, only 6,000 men. Actually, I think she's taken some by ship. Yeah, she is. Hopefully she doesn't win that. That would be very annoying if it is. Although I do wonder if I can ask her, the, the commander, to stop. The River Lords will save Elman, I suppose. Continue to win battles across the board. They're only 37%, despite the fact that they've won so many victories, though. They've got the advantage of the mountains there, but Stark troops are on the way, so that 8k or so needs to really go over there and support them immediately. We're just watching this because it's interesting. <laughs> it's it's kind of interesting to see what my Bannermen are up to. Especially when it comes to the Tullys and their little power grabs. They are not going to make it on time to save that, no. Which may have meant the end of any possible victory that they could have pulled off. Yeah, that may be the end of things. Now with the Stark forces, or the Northern forces showing up. I say Stark, but they aren't really Starks. He's being tutored by the guy who is lightly responsible for his father's death. Stupidly. How's Aegon doing? Trained, diligent, patient. Good, good. At least skilled and formidable would be great. But uh, I don't hold out too much for that. Yeah, they're just hunting down the remnants of the rebellion's power now. I'm afraid they've lost. And the veil and everything will remain in touch of... Remain uh, under the control of those dumbasses, basically. But yeah, it would appear that the Harrenhal curse has completely wiped out this family, pretty much. They got some blood over in the Tafts, but otherwise it's basically completely wiped out the uh, family line. The Curse of Harrenhal. How are these guys doing? Yeah, they're kicking the ass of them. Good. Eh, yeah, Prince Rhaegal's gone to assist them as well. There are so many fucking dragons. Look at this. Look, uh, go to here. Look at all these dragon riders. You got quite a few wild dragons as well. Look at it in the shadow plains, the western shadow mountains, the shadow coast. A few of them appear to have like sailed off. And got a bunch of dragon eggs. I got a dragon egg as well. I've had one for a while. But yeah, we've no shortage of dragons. We haven't really had too much in the way of. Uh, Big ass dragon rebellions or anything, or civil wars. Tch! Then the kid has been declared incapable. Well, he is a lunatic and like two years old, so. What does one expect? Though, to be honest, I'd much rather have this kid in command of the Reach than anywhere else. Alright, you'll be stupid for command, that's fine, I've got plenty of gold. It has gold, just gold, gold, too much gold. Gold fucking everywhere. Uh, port station, toll booth, that's nice.
Mustering grounds. Whoa. What's going on here? I think this is between... Oh, shit. That could be bad. News from afar, Your Grace. During the War of the Iron Throne... Uh, yeah, during the War on the Iron Throne, the dragons turned into female jig, men in combat. The riders driven in the ring. Blah, blah, blah. The rider eventually prevailed, killing Thingy. Yeah. She eventually killed... Yeah, that dragon managed to kill that one, which makes sense because that one is... Uh, that one's a lot more powerful. But thankfully, my cousin still lives. She may have killed the dragon, but she won't win the war. And thankfully, my cousin still lives, so... My prince was over there as well, fighting in that. In theory. I don't, know, I don't think he was, it's just that he shares the, yeah, he just shares the same name. I was gonna say, I've got him tutoring kids in, uh, in King's Landing. Well, the Tullys have won that war, and he just saw that adventurer thing bugger off. There's not really much else of note going on, so, uh, knowing that the Tullys are gonna win that, unless anything else pops up, we'll skip ahead of it. We've got ourselves a little bloody revolt against the rule of my son. Yeah, defending against... Well, more for the spider and the revolt against the role of Prince Rhaegal of the Iron Throne. Yeah, bitch. And she's just beaten one of the people that was, uh... Yeah. Is a member of... It's killed its own fucking son and uh, got itself wounded in the process. Alright. You, my douchebaggy little friend. Will either cease the war immediately or I will fucking kill you. You don't fuck with my family and get away with it. Only we fuck our family. <laughs> yeah, Sun Aaron gets good traits. That's nice. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, moving on. A little something worth mentioning, guys. Do you remember that Baylor guy, the genius, air quotes, who uh, tried to take the guy in front from me and got his fucking ass kicked? We sent him to the wall. He's risen for the ranks to be the new Lord Commander. Just thought I'd point that out. Something worth uh, noting, I suppose. It would appear that King Arian has gone completely batshit in his old age. <laughs> the fever is broken after I got a bit of illness and it lifted, but uh, it appears to have... Traded with much worse illness. Insanity. So that yeah, we're now a lunatic. Which is brilliant. <laughs> Just fucking brilliant. Oh, hopefully he uh, passes soon and doesn't do too much damage in his insanity. One can hope, anyway. It's got more dudes. I have betrothed my grandson, Prince Aegon, to this chick, who has the attractive trait just on his really good traits. And also, she has a dragon, which is that badass dragon that was all bitchy with us earlier. And in the meantime, I'm just slowly upgrading the remaining buildings inside King's Landing, which is almost completely, just completely badass. Afterwards, I've just got the uh, shiplards to complete. And I can't build the wine cellar. So I can upgrade the uh, the city of King's Landing. Do the mustering grounds and may as well. I literally have so much money, I'm making loads every turn. I haven't even got my master of coin doing anything. So, yeah. 
slowly and slowly, more things are turning Valerian down here. It does, however, fuck with the revolt chance. Although it's, it's not too bad, but certain locations down in Dawn and everything are a bit bitchy right now. Especially up in the north. But it's not too bad. Although that place is bad. Who we got betrayal to? Ah, yes. The uh, Prince and the Baratheon. That's fine. At any rate, uh, we'll move on, skip ahead as usual to something interesting. Probably the declaration of my king going completely batshit before he dies. <laughs> Hey guys, sad tidings, although thankfully he died before he could do anything stupid with his craziness. He died to the Great Plague, unfortunately. It also took my brother, Oris Targaryen, who died uh, of an illness which all soon was related to the plague and low health conditions and whatnot. So he's left two daughters, but no sons for him. But at any rate, uh, King Rhaegal has taken over. He was pretty much a badass, really. As is his son, who is also a formidable fighter, which is great. Squire, quick, attractive. And he's married to a girl who's a skilled badass as well. And has a very strong dragon. All we need to do for King Rhaegal as our next step is to get him a dragon. Because he doesn't actually have one at the moment. So we just need to hunt down a very powerful dragon. Does he have a dragon? Yeah, he, he, he is friends of a dragon. He just hasn't actually gotten one yet. Got the dragon right. He hasn't tamed one yet. So we'll have to uh, do something about that. <laughs> well, you couldn't have asked for a better dragon for my uh, sudden heir. Valerian the Black Dread. I didn't even know where the hell Valerian was all this time. I thought he was dead a while back. But uh, apparently not. Apparently he was at Dragonstone or King's Landing or something. But um, yeah. Prince Aegon now has formidable fighter, quick, attractive, basically the most badass dragon in the known world at the age of 219. Fuck me. I mean, both Vhagar and Meraxes are dead. And he's still hanging in there. <laughs> the Black Dread lives. And he's come for more. But yes, uh, okay, we, we need to find a dragon for the king now. Although I'm not quite sure I can outdo my son's dragon in this. Hey guys, uh, we have funded, at his express request, um, his little, I suppose, ambition to reclaim the Vale. So, uh, Mandan Aaron is fighting, he's rallied some troops suspiciously outside of King's Landing. Don't look at me, I had nothing to do with it. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. Unless, of course, it works, in which case I had everything to do with it. I just got a marriage alliance with the West, which is good. He's got 16,000 men against the rest of these idiots. Ooh, and we have a uprising that we'll uh, have to deal with now. Where's that up? Over there. Just 2,000 men. All right, we'll have to deal with this quickly. Shouldn't be too easy. Uh, too hard, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we can raise some troops at Bravos. Should do the trick. Take shit from Bravos. And sail around to deal with those guys. Meanwhile, that 16,000 troops, I'm not entirely sure, are going to be able to defend against that. But I'm, I'm kind of hoping that some of the Vale Lords join him, since he has claim better so than anyone else. We'll easily crush those guys. I mean, we got three dragons fighting there. Hopefully the game is smart enough to push immediately. Although, to be honest, I think the north is uh, 
Yeah, the North has joined as well, so I don't think he's going to have enough troops to do anything. What's Rosbury up to? Revolt against the rural lords, Rosbury. This guy's converted, so House Messy and Stones Point slowly turning over. Lots of religious unrest. More Valerian locations are turning over to Valeria. That's that one, at any rate. We get those pop up every now and again, they're easily crushed. I've just been banishing the idiots to the Night's Watch and that's been that, basically. He split up his troops, which is a very stupid thing for him to do. He'll inherit that. It looks like Aaron's claws is doomed, basically. Nah. Perhaps not. If forces from Lord Harrowway's town show up and assist, he's won even without him. So perhaps there's still hope. He does have 20k men. Ugh. These uprisings are, are really starting to annoy me. It's like, yes, we get it. <laughs> Great. They're actually harming... Actually harming the Aaron forces now. Man. The Aaron's dealt with it for us. And sent those idiots to the wall. This constantly happens. It's, this is very annoying. Very annoying indeed. But it does get some action, I suppose. And 12k against them, and then they show up, but they've got less morale. Uh, i got so many kids that I don't give a shit what they're called anymore. <laughs> they might be able to win with that low morale on the Tully side. Yep. What are you doing, cousin? Trying to claim shit from me. Dumb bitch. He's only got 19% to spark those two big victories. Odd, really. I really have to deal with some of these border things that are just really stupid. <laughs> he continues to hunt down those. He's only got 10k forces left, those, unfortunately. But Rosbury's inherited those. Deep Den, all these people, I don't know. I'm going to have to deal with all these border things later. <laughs> I want the Arons to win, but I don't think he's going to win. He just doesn't have the men. And none of the Vale has risen up in favour of him. Which I find very weird. You'd think they would. Nah, he's lost that. And even if he did win that, he's got another bunch of forces to contend with, so... That, I'm afraid, was dead from the beginning. Uh, 
Um, I need to start getting some of my vassals to like me a bit more, since we're going to have that adventurer thing show up in a moment. Hmm. The Reach has got another little rebellion on their hands. Master of Coin. Let us hire somebody. Cousin, I'm thinking Tully. He's the most powerful right now. We're gonna kind of need his men. Make him the designated regent, just to make him like me a bit more. I uh, sent my club-footed kid to be tutored by one of my Lord Paramounts as well. Namely, I don't know who. Hmm. Uh, Baratheon. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. They're hunting down the Aaron's forces now. And hopefully it won't be traced back to us. <laughs> what are you guys up to? No, he wants me to order the faith militant dudes to stand down. Stupid, but there you go. As if they do that. <laughs> very, very strange. But anyway, uh, hey, there it goes. I was about to say we'd stop and then jump forward to this bitch's claim on my shit, but here we are. They should honor their obligations. Yeah, excellent, excellent. 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 Most of them should, other than the guys over in Essos and everything, which probably won't. But I don't particularly care about them too much. What are you guys doing? Blackwater's being a bitch. Hey, go on, get your ass over to the black one. It's you. Not forgetting the troops over in Dawn. Get your ass over to the black water as well. <laughs> the axe of Harrenhal, who's been blinded, is taking up arms with me. Bloody odd that these guys haven't joined me. They're, uh, especially him. He's Larian and everything, so odd. I have to cave some skulls later on. Put these bitches in their places. Have you march on to Duskendale? Give Aegon command. He's got Valerian the Dread. <laughs> 